Hi everyone, Marianne here. Uh, today I thought I would do a little update. Um, I wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind recently um, and that is the uh, relationship between systems thinking and creativity. Um, I can see a lot of connection and a lot of value in like working with these two kind of concepts. Um, so systems thinking, to give you a little bit of an idea, is really about, uh, well, it's a model, I guess, for understanding um, lots of complexity and complex issues uh, and how they are interconnected. So the relationship between those things. Um, nature is a really good uh, way to understand systems thinking because there's a number of different systems that are all kind of communicating with each other, including us. Um, and I know in ecology, you know, systems thinking is really important for understanding how it works. You can't really measure things in isolation. Uh, in that regard. So um, systems thinking is also really good in lots of other areas as well, like um, computer science, um, understanding how organization works, um, and even us humans, um, I think, you know, we are, uh, we are the product of many interconnected systems. Um, so it's really good to, to think about systems when we're thinking about anything really related to our lives or our work. Um, it's a really holistic way of thinking about things and really um, helpful when you're working on kind of problem solving tasks or even creativity. So creativity is the other part to this and I love working with creatives. I love helping people be more creative. I love innovation, um, thinking outside the square, um, trying to allow for you know unconventional wisdom to sort of come through um, because obviously the status quo is not great. Um, the system we live in is kind of breaking um, in many different areas and we really need to come up with some creative solutions not only for you know environmental and economic and um, cultural but you know just even in our own little lifestyles and the way we think about you know what we're, what we're doing with our lives so it can be really helpful um, to to really try and grasp um, or even just wonder wonder about it um, and try to imagine um, in that framework of systems thinking when you're thinking about whatever issues that you might be facing in your own little personal life um, the other great thing about combining systems thinking with creativity is it's dynamic. Systems are dynamic and in their dy dynamic nature, they are more adaptable. So, um, you know, as things evolve and change, um, you know, creativity allows for that fostering of experimentation, um, you know, innovative ideas to come through, looking at uh, original kind of ways of putting things together that might not have always been put together in that particular way um, prior to, you know, that imagining. So it's really good to, to think of uh, systems in that way as well. So bringing that creativity to systems and seeing how, um, how when you do that, your creativity can be adaptive to where you are um, in any given moment, in any given system. Um, and I also think uh, you can have a far greater impact when, you, when your creativity is linking into systems thinking. Um, this is because the interconnectedness part, the interconnection of, of um, what, what I'm talking about here, when things are, um, when you start to see the interconnection between things, you realize that ripple effect that you can have. Um, and you are probably more open to, you know, diversity and having different stakeholders involved, um, more collaboration, um, allowing for more sort of collective problem solving or collective creation to come through. Um, and being able to, yeah, adapt quite easily to that. 
Um, so it really is, uh, when you merge creativity and systems thinking together, what you get is a way to work together, um, not just for the individuals to work together, but for whole communities to work together. And this is where I think um, we can really sort of promote and start to work on systems change. Um, so I invite you to, to really sit with that and contemplate those two different ideas and, and look to the systems that you're part of in your everyday life and, and how you can bring your creativity to some of those things. Um, when you're looking at problem solving or um, looking for solutions or ideas or contemplating new projects. Thanks for tuning in and have a great week. Bye.